Hi guys, this is Claudio, motion designer from Brussels, Belgium. Today we are going to talk about the languages for data visualization and animations. They are essential tools for conveying complex information in a concise and easy to understand way. Uh, there are a variety of programming languages out there that can be used for these tasks. Um, some are better suited than others for the job, of course. Uh, whether you are a novice programmer or an experienced one, uh, learning the best programming languages for data visualization and animation can help you create effective graphs and charts. From JavaScript to Python to After Effects uh, and beyond, uh, today we are going to explore which are the best programming languages uh, for data visualization as well as the advantages and disadvantages of each one. So let's uh, see in detail which are these languages. JavaScript. JavaScript is an object-oriented programming language that's mainly used for client-side scripting. Although it's often used for front-end uh, web development, uh, JavaScript can be used for many other data visualization and animation tasks, such as creating interactive uh, graphs and charts. For example, d3.js is a popular JavaScript library for visualization, but it's not the only one. There are literally tens and tens of libraries that you can use to create data visualizations and interactive animations. As I said, there are many other libraries and tools that are compatible with JavaScript. Make it a versatile programming language. JavaScript is an easy programming language to learn and get started with, making it a good choice uh, for beginners. Additionally, JavaScript runs on every device and platform, making it an excellent choice for creating cross-platform applications. Python. Python is a general purpose programming language that is often used for data analytics, and data science and scientific computing. It has a wide range of libraries and tools that allow you to create sophisticated data visualizations and animations. For example, the matplotlib library allows you to create charts and graphs, and the Seaborn library allows you to create statistical graphs very easily. The Python programming language is an excellent choice if you are looking to create data visualization and animation with a lot of complexity and details. Python is also easy to learn and has a friendly syntax, making it a good choice for beginners. Since Python is a cross-platform and open source, it's widely used in many industries and organizations, which means that it has a large and active community of users and developers. C++ well, C++ is a general purpose programming language that is used for everything from web development to computer graphics. It's a compiled and object-oriented programming language that allows you to create sophisticated and detailed data visualizations. C++ has many features that make it an excellent choice for data viz and animation, such as the ability to handle large datasets and high performance functions. It has a large number of libraries and tools that you can use uh, for data visualization, such as the OpenGL library, which is used to create a 3D computer graphics. C++ is a relatively difficult programming language to learn and isn't ideal for beginners. It is, however, a good choice if you are looking to create uh, detailed data visualizations with high complexity. Processing. Processing is a programming language and environment that is used for visual arts, design and computer art. It was originally developed for artists and designers to create visual art pieces and images. Processing's simplicity and ease of use make it a good choice for non-programmers to create data visualizations and animations. Additionally, its cross-platform compatibility makes it a good choice for creating web visualizations. To visualize your data, you can use the built-in functions to create uh, interactive graphs and visualizations. If you are looking to create more complex uh, 
um, charts, you can use the programming language, which is similar to C++ and Java, and allows you to create more sophisticated and detailed pieces. MATLAB. MATLAB is a programming language and environment uh, for technical computing. Personally, I used it for the first time during my engineering studies uh, at the university. It's commonly used for advanced data animations and visualizations, such as 3D uh, visualizations. Although it's mainly used for more advanced and technical visualizations, MATLAB is also suitable for non-programmers who are just getting started with data viz. It's uh, cross-platform and open source, uh, making it a good choice for web visualizations. R. R is not only a letter of the alphabet, but it is also an interpreted programming language. Designed in 1993 for statistical computing and graphics. It's commonly used in data science and big data applications, where data visualization and animation are essentials. R is ease of use and accessibility make it a good choice for non-programmers to create visualizations. Additionally, it's a cross-platform cross and open source, so this is a good choice for web data visualizations projects. R has many built-in functions that allow you to create uh, statistical graphs and visualizations. If you are looking to create more complex data uh, visualizations, you can uh, create more complex functions as R supports procedural programming with functions and for some cases object-oriented programming as well. After Effects after Effects is a visual uh, effects and motion graphics software used to create visualizations and animations. It's commonly used for motion graphics and web animations, uh, transitioning between scenes and animated graphics in general. It has a lot of built-in functions and tools that allow you to quickly uh, create animated videos. After Effects also allows you to create very artistic animations. You can create graphs and charts either 2D or 3D with ease. If you are looking to create more complex data visualizations, you can uh, use the scripting languages uh, and expressions which are included in uh, After Effects and are based on JavaScript. If you are a motion designer and need to create uh, bar chart races and pie, ch pie charts, uh, you can choose bar, bar chart, which is a bar chart race script for After Effects. Uh, but if you don't like scripting or expressions, uh, there's a really large number of data visualization templates for After Effects on uh, the internet. I'm going to leave uh, some links in the description below. So creating data visualizations and animations with programming languages is a great way to present data in an engaging and easy to understand way. When choosing which programming language to use, you should consider your skill level, the complexity of your project and the operating system of your target device or platform. Now that you know more about the best programming languages for uh, data visualization and animation, it's time to put your newfound knowledge good use. Ultimately, the best choice of language or framework will depend on your specific needs and goals, uh, as well as your existing skills and experience. It's worth experimenting with different options to see which one you find the most comfortable and suitable for your task. So, thank you very much for listening. Subscribe to my channel if you are interested in this kind of videos and put a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much and see you next time.